Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're having a good day. I'm going to do the living room patriotic tour finally. And I know I keep saying it, but hopefully by this weekend, maybe by Sunday, I can start doing the outside garden videos and the summer room. I still have quite a few things I want to get done in the next couple days try to get out early in the morning. We didn't have any yard sales today, so I got out early this morning and got a lot done. And tomorrow, so far, we only have one sale in our area. There were a couple, but they had pictures and it was all kids stuff or honestly things that I would have maybe thrown in the trash or given away <laughs> to Goodwill. <laughs> so, you know, we didn't waste our time going and I got a lot done by staying home. So hopefully tomorrow I'll have a haul for you, but you never know, and if I don't, that's okay. I'll just come back home and keep working in the yard. So let's get started. Kind of give you an overview of this part of the room. We love looking out that window because you can always see the beautiful Japanese maples. I'll come in here and I'll back up so that you can see all of this. This changed a little bit from when I showed you the blue and white. I moved a couple pieces to other places and brought a couple pieces back over here, but I love this area. And I'll get closer after I show you all the way down. Once again, the chairs are so much fun to decorate. And in the right hand child's chair, there's an old flag and lots of old red and blue books. These are beautiful books and those books are the 1800s. And then back there, this is the history. Let me see if I can pull it up here. It's the history, history and rhymes of the Lost Battalion. And it's in one of the pantry boxes that doesn't have a lid. And I just put some flags in that beautiful ironstone pitcher on that gorgeous old table. The antique cherry pitcher is still down there. I brought the vintage or antique, I'm not sure which, tool caddy up here. This is a piece we bought in West Lafayette, Indiana many years ago when John had to go to Purdue University for some training. And it is still a favorite piece. So I added some red, white, and blue treasures. There's a ironstone pitcher and I just added a flag. This beautiful little book. This is children's stories from Dickens. Some florals. And friends are the flowers in the garden of life. The friend that gave me that is no longer with us so that's a treasure. I put a little flag hat on my little stife or steve bear. I have these beautiful patriotic books here on the couch and I love sitting and looking at the history in this book and the beauty of the flag. And up here with the transfer wire I added that super cute patriotic bobblehead bunny. I've had that for a long time and he's holding an Uncle Sam mask. And that's a vintage red coverlet heart I made years ago. And the bless your heart. Y'all know that's a southern thing. We're always saying bless your heart. If somebody tells you something's wrong or if something's good, well bless your heart. And I couldn't tell you how many times I say it. And the beautiful Billy Jacobs Patriotic Barn, I'll try to show it from the other direction and maybe it won't be such a glare on it, is over the couch. 
And that's that reproduction coverlet that we got at a yard sale, I believe, last year. Another yard sale find, Encyclopedia of Presidents. That's George Washington. And in this huge ironstone platter, I still have my shoe molds there, or shoe forms, or shoe lasts, whatever you want to call them. And I have lots of little vintage patriotic treasures, lots of little pens, and little booklets. And I put those little lead holders, little lead containers in here because most of them had red on them. And I'm enjoying that. And then right here are two more of our really favorite treasures. The bigger patriotic sand pail and the little wee one. We spent a lot of time on eBay trying to get these two and their treasures. More patriotic things and a little box of 10 cent marbles that has the stars on it. And I love these little snaps has Lady Liberty on it. And then there's the little patriotic bunny candy pail. And more little patriotic buttons. But I love that. That might be a little better, but it's a beautiful print. I love the old barn. And this all stayed the same since I already had that gorgeous flag pen and ink there. Another beautiful Billy Jacobs with the flag and a crock and the star and a Bible. That's another favorite. And this little area has a lot of my sailor pieces. That's a Ray Dunn mug right there. And this is a little tin that's made in Switzerland. But I love that mug under the cloche. And back there, I know it's hard to see for the glare, is a sweet little child in a little sailor outfit. This is a little vintage sailor toy. These are two more little vintage figurines. And back there is that wonderful patriotic frame and that postcard. It says, though far apart, heart speaks to heart. Just love that. And then here is that precious little sailor doll and this little vintage victory plate. And then I have some of these sweet little advertising cards. That was for Allentown, Pennsylvania. Got a little sailor outfit on and little sailboats in the distance. And three more of them. It was for Shiner and Laub Carpets. I thought that was just so cute. And there's Uncle Sam in the window. And the little patriotic duck up there. Only thing I did here was add the patriotic placemat. Oh, and I forgot. Y'all seen this for the last several years, but it's precious with the kitties on the bicycle. Built for two. And believe it or not, I have still been getting a few blooms on this Easter cactus. And in here... I added two of my patriotic comp compacts of Washington, D.C. They came from a yard sale, of course. And this beautiful, handmade, it's not vintage, but that did come from a yard sale, too. I think it is gorgeous. And the cobalt in the window, and the beautiful maples out the window, and another one of those little sweet chicks or ducks, I'm not sure which, with a little flag. My McCoy wall pocket. 
I just added flags to this and a doily. That wonderful needlework, needlework print that we got at a yard sale years ago. Mary Emmerling flag book. And the blue and white Ray Dunn birdhouses. And a beautiful vintage doily. And the patriotic little lamp that we've got at Kroger's years ago. And a sweet little creamer and bowl. And more of my blue and white is down there. And then here is a crock with some beautiful sunflowers and blue and white flowers in it. The other old crock with some beetles or mashers in it. And I'll get back so you can see the whole thing here. There's that lamp. I repaired it as good as I could. One of the comments came from a sweet lady that works in a Victorian museum and she told me the best way to fix that place on the front of the lamp where somebody that wasn't very smart put the price tag and it took the color off. She said they use cheap eyeshadow, powder eyeshadow from Dollar Tree and they can mix it and get the colors they want and that's what they use to restore any paper items that they need to restore for the museum. And it didn't do bad. I see one little place where I need to touch up again. But, oh, it looked terrible before. So I am really pleased with this yard sale lamp of Washington crossing the Delaware. That was my $10 bargain. And just some political things. I have them for both parties, Republican and Democrat, and I just put them in my flower frog and added some stars to the star, rose star pottery crock. Still have the plant under that little dome. And over here, the Jim Shore Uncle Sam and the Miss Liberty Angel. And these are pictures of my, the one on the right, that's my daddy when he was in the army. And then that's his father with him when he was home on leave. And then that's my mama and daddy. I just love these. I treasure these old photographs. And then here's the patriotic tree. This tree is used for every holiday, and there's really some pretty ornaments on it that we've collected for many, many years. There's some handmade ones that came from craft shows. There's some reproduction. I don't have any vintage ornaments on there, but I still love the tree. And then down there, a lot of John's tobacco tins have stayed down there. I put that new little picture of Jesus down there with the pewter and the cross. And then I brought the little boy's tool chest with that beautiful eagle on it and added a couple Anna Lee's and a beautiful patriotic heart. And right here are some favorite magazines right now. Y'all might remember that our daughter and her boyfriend gave me a uh, two-year subscription to Victoria. And when this issue came out, she uh, told me, she said, I know you're going to love the front of that issue because she knows how much I love blue and white. And it is gorgeous. And the flowers are beautiful, too. And this is a great issue of Flea Market. And then this Vintage Cottage is wonderful magazine. I don't buy magazines like I used to for two reasons. They've gotten so expensive, and so many of them are just ads. And you, we look at so much online anymore. I don't read magazines or books online. But I do still like to have a few magazines so that I can just pick it up and carry it with me. 
Down there is the patriotic Anna Lee that I've had for years. And here's the little patriotic stool that I painted many years ago. I Probably in the 80s. And I think he's kind of cute. And I kept the blue and white in this cupboard and added more pieces to it. You know, I forgot to show you the top over here, I think. <laughs> so I'll go back because I was thinking, what did I do with Betsy Ross? Okay, over here, there's the blue Betsy Ross. And here's that wonderful old, old creamer that we got this year. And the beautiful soup terrain. And all this may be pretty much the same. I don't know why I skipped that. And then this is that gorgeous old souvenir from France and red books. Okay, I'll take you all around and then I'll go back to the cupboard. Got ahead of myself there. I'll show you that up closer, but that's usually down in the entry hall, but since he has a sailor outfit on and he's got his cat and dog with him, I thought that was just darling. Okay, back to here. Still have the doorknobs right there. And I brought out lots of our vintage and antique patriotic plates. That one is a favorite. And here is the brick mold box with more of the blue and white that have come from yard sales. Love this little booklet. And that's French for the American soldier. Blue and white plates and a little creamer. This is a little military book. And here's where I have the flow blue picture right now. Just love it. So beautiful. And back there is another gorgeous patriotic plate. And over here is another plate with Washington on it. And the gravy boat and a little small military plate. Ironstone. And here's the little Jamestown cup and saucer that we got this year. Oh, and right here is where I put the beautiful eagle ornament that we got last week. More historical plates and some of the blue and white we got recently. Ironstone. Just love those. There's the flow blue plate we got recently, as was that plate. I just love all of that. And up here, some of the little cream and bone marrow crocs. There's the butter pats that we got recently. The blue Delft cow creamer. More of the wonderful blue and white dishes. Cobalt and silver salt and pepper. And this gorgeous eagle vintage plate. And the white ironstone. The door squeaks as bad as my floors, don't it? And up at the top of the cupboard, all I did was add some red and blue and white florals with the baskets because I've enjoyed the baskets being up there. But here is that adorable, and I know the lot, let me see if I can turn that off if you can see it better just for a minute. No, nope, it's the other one. Okay. 
Well, anyway, y'all have seen this in the entry hall, and it is an antique print. John took it apart and cleaned it and put it back together. Just gorgeous, and the frame is so pretty. And I know you can't see that either. Over the birdhouse, well, it's not a birdhouse, over the big light-up house that John made, that's where I put one of those gorgeous florals. This was the one that had the beautiful deep frame and the beautiful corners on it with the florals. So I put that there because it had the same colors as the big home sweet home. And I just love it. And on the shelf, I didn't change a lot. I just added geraniums and a flag. And down here, just have the Edgeworth tobacco tins and the red dots is still there. And that's where I put that beautiful old basket and more of John's tobacco tins are still down there. And this little piece with the basket and those utensils. And that gorgeous mirror. There's one of the longer burger baskets that we got. And I told you, she stays there all the time, except during Halloween, pretty much. I love her. And over there is the Sheeran Snit Patriotic one that John got me, I can't remember if it was birthday or Christmas, years and years ago from a shop that's no longer there. It was called Salem Creek, and it was a favorite. And there's another one of the Longer Burger Baskets. And that great piece we bought at a craft show years ago and most of these things stay in this shelf all the time, except at Halloween and Christmas. And a lot of them are patriotic. They're little banks. There's some little cleansers, Tetley tea, and the whisk brooms. And this came down here when I took the sailor boy up. And this pretty much, I think, stayed the same, but George Washington prints and the silhouettes are there. Well, that's all of the tour, and I'm sorry it's so long. Instead of doing a separate tour for the cupboard, I just decided to go on and do it all at one time. So, I hope it's not too long for you. Thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate y'all. Y'all make the nicest comments, and y'all really make me feel good. So I appreciate it. Love and blessings to y'all from me and John and baby boy. We'll see you again soon. Till the next time. Bye-bye.